don't even know really where to go with this video. I didn't think I, this is ever something I was going to like vlog. I didn't know that I would actually ever get a nose job. Today is Tuesday the 18th of May. My surgery is on the 19th, so it is tomorrow. It is officially the day before my surgery. It still hasn't really kicked in that tomorrow is my surgery. Like I'm getting a new nose tomorrow. Until like I came on camera, it wasn't even like, I don't know, it just wasn't real. But having to sit here and like talk to you guys about it, is kind of like weird. If you guys didn't know that I'm getting a nose job, you should probably go back and watch my last video just like about why I want to get it. And this one will make a lot more sense. The hospital called me today. My surgery is going to be at 11.45 tomorrow. So I'll have to start fasting from 5.45 a.m. onwards. So that's not too bad. I can eat whatever tonight. Well, not whatever. I have like specific things that I'm not supposed to eat. I don't think I'm supposed to have tea. I don't know. It said herbal, but like, look, I really feel like a tea. I don't think it's gonna do much harm. Tonight, Hamish isn't here. If you guys watched my last video, you would have heard me say that he is working until like 1 a.m. this evening. Tomorrow, we're going to drive up to Sydney like a couple hours before the surgery. So it'll take like one and a half hours to get up there, I think. So we'll probably leave around like 9.30 and I've got to actually book our parking spot this evening just to make sure that we get one. That is the plan. That's pretty much it. I don't think I have anything else that I need to update you guys on. I'll see you guys in the morning, I guess. Oh my God. Last couple looks at my nose see you later can't even wait i will see you guys in the morning wednesday may 19th finally the day of the surgery hamish drove me up he was my designated driver for the day and he was such a sweetheart and waited around for me for like the several hours or whatever it was that he was waiting <laughs> nervous to pull up in public and talk too loud but i'm waiting to go in they said it's going to be like another two hours i think it's like 12 at the moment i look so flushed currently because i'm um i don't know i'm just hot <laughs> my face is really hot dr zachariah just came around and saw me um and i should be going in in like the next 10 minutes i've just been sitting here for like the past couple hours they got me in a little bit too early i'm so hungry <laughs> i can't wait to eat when i get out i'll probably be feeling really sick though the last time i'll be with my nose we're gonna have a new one. He said it's gonna be pretty straightforward. Um, there's not too much to change. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna be in there very soon. I'm a bit nervous for needles. I don't like needles. But other than that, I'm not like too scared. I'm just excited. I will chat to you guys after surgery. Oh my God. I'm awake. It's me, you know. I don't really know where I am or what day it is. Hello guys, it is day one post-surgery. So obviously I am out. Ignore my table. It's like so messy right now. Um, our dining table is always where we just like dump stuff it's so bad so i had the surgery yesterday hamish actually wasn't allowed to come in with me he was like in the waiting room with me but he couldn't come into like the pre-surgery room like once i was like in my gown and stuff he wasn't allowed to be in there yeah i just kind of sat in there by myself for a little bit i would have loved him to be there because i am like kind of scared of needles and stuff but i was such a trooper i killed it i didn't even have a breakdown or anything it was great but yeah i just kind of sat there for like two hours in my gown just like on my phone and um just on my camera and stuff a little bit i'm not sure if i I was meant to wait that long or not it really wasn't a big deal at all i was just getting hungry like sitting there and i was starting to feel a little bit sick because i hadn't eaten anything after that we went straight in to theater to the surgery room yeah they pretty much just went straight in like it was really intimidating going in that room because i've never had surgery before the only time i've had surgery was when i was like three or four and it was for my adenoids and tonsils when we went into the surgery room it was like so white and clinical and it was like so freaky it was like out of a movie i got in there and i was like this is so weird they started putting like the little band thing around my arm so they could do a local anesthetic shot and then do my cannula and stuff that was the part that i was most stressed about i was like oh i'm not good with needles but dr zachariah just held my hand and um 
the anaesthetist, ane- I can never say that word, he was really lovely and he just did it within seconds, so good, literally the best cannula I've ever had because I had some recently with um, having iron infusions and they were the worst, they took so long, this guy was like so good at it, obviously he has to be because it's his everyday job but my god such a legend he did such a good job and then yeah all i really remember like i don't it was the weirdest experience i don't remember going to sleep or like even preparing to go to sleep like some people say that they get you to count down but literally he's like he said something like we're giving you your champagne cocktail now and that is all i remember like he put obviously the anesthesia into my um cannula that was it i was out within seconds like I don't remember anything past that I don't know if I had to count down anything there's absolutely nothing and then the next memory I have after that is waking up and they just like said my name or something yeah I was in like the waiting bay area in a bed I don't know how I got there don't did they wheel my bed out there I don't know did they carry me but I was there I was waiting and I woke up weirdest feeling ever I just remember feeling really really tired and groggy but yeah within like half an hour to an hour I was awake they gave me some juice and some jelly and um they just had me like walk around a little bit they took like my blood pressure and stuff and that was it I was up I was awake I did start bleeding from my nose and I had to like catch it with my finger and I was like oh can I have a tissue and then they gave me like one of these things which I don't think this even has anything on it at the moment. I might just take it off. Basically, it just catches it if you're like, um, if you have like any oozing or anything, for lack of a better word. This is what we're looking like at the moment. It looks very big at the moment because my cast is on there, but if you guys can see, the tip of my nose looks so cute and like refined already. Oh my god, I can already see like changes and it looks so cute and i'm just so excited about it i can't really move my top lip too much at the moment because every time i do when i'm talking i kind of move the splints in my nose and I just, it's just not a nice feeling it's like when you go and get the covid test before they go up to your brain when they're just kind of in there that's kind of what it feels like so it's not my favorite feeling so i try not to move my lips too much when i talk not too much like bruising at the moment there's a lot of swelling happening in here and as the day's gone on um there is more swelling happening like around my eyes and just like a bit of bruising like you can see bruising under here so i've just been icing and stuff um i have a bunch of medications that i have to take like i have steroids i've got like painkillers and then i think there's like antibiotics and stuff plus like my zinc and all that kind of stuff that i have to keep taking but that's my doctor in the background there doctor what doctor what your services are required this is my live-in nurse my live-in doctor <laughs> he made me scrambled eggs this morning and he's been waiting on me hand and foot haven't you yes i have you've been my angel i love you love you too but yeah that's day one guys this is what it's looking like oh my god my lip looks so long because i can't move it uh today is fucking friday let me take this off it's day two post op so i was in you guys in i'm looking a lot more swollen today you guys can see i've got a bit of a black eye happening just like both eyes a little bit black a bit more swollen i'm definitely feeling it a lot more today oh, didn't fart that was my phone after pay that's offensive it's rude it's like 12 30 i have an appointment at 1 15 um in the city so that's what we're doing here that's why i'm in the car we're in sydney at the moment hamish is just picking up something really quick he's getting like a bike bag like a high bike bag for his trip oh it hurts to talk sorry i have to like talk so quiet and like slow i am just like in a little bit more pain this morning so i didn't wake up until like 10 30 that's when i got out of bed usually that's a very late morning for me i usually get up like 7 a.m that's like a comfortable morning for me so 10 30 is huge but i just was getting no sleep last night so i um kept taking my painkillers like every six hours when i could and just um trying to like get back to sleep as much as i could because i'm just like exhausted i feel like i could just pass out at any minute i'm really drugged up right now i've taken all my meds this morning hey we're just trying to get in the car I think I mentioned it in the first part of this video, but he goes on his little bike trip in the next couple of days. Your little bike trip. Mm, my baby trip. <laughs> Big for me. Big trip. Big baby trip. So yeah, I'm gonna be alone after that. I think mom's gonna come and look after me. Yeah, I am 
feeling like a little bit more pain today, definitely a bit more congested, stuffy, swollen, all that sort of stuff. At this appointment, they're gonna put me under the LED light and stuff like that. And yeah, it's like, your shoes are so squeaky. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I know, you should be. Your video. Yeah. Using the brake. Yeah. <laughs> So rude. Now you're just doing it on purpose. I'll move my foot. <laughs> I'll see if Hamish can film a little bit while we're in there. While they're cleaning my ears and stuff. It's like I turn on the camera and you purposely start banging things around. No, that's what I always do. I just don't try not to bang stuff. How's your laser treatment going? It's my LED. Where is it? Is it all lit up? No, it's not. Oh, they've got breast cups here. Are these breast cups? Make life more beautiful. Ooh, I like this size. So I just had my LED light treatment. Um, Hamish is in the corner watching some football thing. <laughs> when do you get the splints taken out? Day seven? seven yeah. yeah. I'm just going to take the tape off your cheeks, okay? Yeah. I have some bruising under here. Yeah, I've already seen some coming up. Yeah, so are you using your arnica? Yes, yeah. Yeah, continue that. And the bromelain, yeah. the natural pineapple extract. And then we don't put these back on, okay? It's just to help with the initial swelling. Sorry, honey. That's okay. I just got out of bed. It's day three. Definitely the most clogged up and like swollen and stuffy today. It's 11 o'clock. I need to do like my mess and stuff because I like so cloggy so i thought i would show this on camera because i feel like i haven't seen a lot of vlogs where people show this so helpful though for clearing it out fixing up like the congestion Hamish is doing the dishes so if you can hear that that's what that is um you had to do this like four times a day or like no not four times a day every four hours or something i can't remember God, there's all a lot of Vaseline up my nose too. So I basically just keep spraying it up there. It says like, we're around like six sprays roughly, but I just keep spraying it until I uh, feel like it's clear. Oh, I just felt it go down the back of my throat. That's good though, because you know that's actually like getting through. God, I wish I could blow my nose so bad. So that's my first spray, and then I have to spray this um, I have to spray this tissue. What? Yeah. What do you want? I'm trying to do my fucking fest. Oh, doing my fest tutorial. This one's harder to get up there because it's like really what? bad. I'm talking. I'm doing a fest tutorial for fuck's sake. Shut the fuck up. I wish I could get these a bit further up there, but it just hurts. And then I'm gonna clean my nose as well. I just get a little cup and I have to mix. Where is that? I can't see shit. I have to mix like saline and um, half hydrogen. hydrogen. What am I saying? I feel like a scientist. Hydrogen peroxide. This is like to make sure that your stitches aren't getting all like crusty and um, you're not getting heaps of scabs. You're constantly like cleaning it off because otherwise it's, it'll hurt heaps when they have to take the splits out. This is like actually one of the most satisfying parts. Like cleaning your nose. So you get some like relief from the congestion. I'm gonna pop some Vaseline in my nose now. I have to like put it on like the incision areas so they don't get dry. I'm about to take some of my medications. The rest I can't take just yet because I need to take them with food. So I haven't vlogged too much today guys. It is five o'clock now. My mummy is here, she's over there. She just did my hair and braids for me. And mum's looking after me for the next couple days or whenever she decides to leave because Hamish has gone on his little bike trip. I keep saying his little bike trip, sounds so demeaning. It's a big bike trip, <laughs> big special bike trip. He's left for that, he was working this afternoon and then he's gone straight to the airport. That's like what's happening life-wise. Mum has been making me mashed potato and veggies and stuff, which is really good. Just getting like a little bit more solid food in. Like she's still mashing them up for me, but oh my god, I sound so congested. Yeah, I haven't talked on here too much just because I am so congested. It is day three, so three and four is meant to be the worst. I just feel like I have like clotting stuck at the back of my nose. Last night, it was so gross, I spat out a blood clot. It was disgusting, but it was so satisfying. I kind of wish I got it on film. I mean, I did take a photo of it. It was 
fantastic wish i could do that again but you know and to like sniff or blow your nose or anything like that so i'm just trying to leave it it does make it very hard to talk though just really gross i am feeling a lot less pain than i was yesterday day two was probably the most painful and that was probably like a level two or three pain just where my incisions were um, it was just a bit stingy but today i haven't really felt any pain the incisions are still a tiny bit but i'd say it's like a one like it's really not the pain of this that's annoying it's just like the being congested and just feeling like you have snot bubbles all the way up your nose if you can't do anything about it winnie's also back as well winnie come here honey chickadini come here Come here. Got Winnie back over here. She's a little bit of a terror at mum's house. So both the dogs were over there. Watson's still there along with mum's two dogs. Winnie just chews everything. So I thought we'd bring her back. She's really gentle with me, whereas Watson's kind of rough with me. At least here I could keep an eye on her make sure she doesn't destroy anything. And she's just like really relaxed and has been sleeping. Whereas Watson, probably better at mum's house than he is here. He gets a little bit bored here. At least there he's got like chickens and stuff to annoy. Oh, I finally went to the toilet, which was great. Um, I went from being constipated to having diarrhea, so um, yeah, I love that. We'll try and get that balanced back out. Until then, I will chill out, watch a movie. I actually watched um, wo The Woman in the Window, and it was shit. It was really shit, so don't watch that. So nice having you home. It's so nice to have you here. Just us girls. Just hold the girls. Paul, thank you. Paul, thank you. Paul, thank you so much. You're such a good girl. Sunday, 23rd of May, so it's officially day four after my surgery. And this is what I'm looking like today. I'm feeling a lot better than I did yesterday. I think I just felt so congested yesterday. Like it just felt so gross to talk. It still does a little bit, just cause it feels like there's a lot happening in like the top of my sinus, nasal, throat passage area. It's just really gross. We're trying not to talk too much, but I'm feeling tons better today. I've just been fessing my nose with like the nasal spray and then the other like medicated nasal spray that they gave me. And that has been helping heaps actually being able to like dislodge the clots and like clear them out. So I've just been doing that as much as I can to try and like wash them down. I think my bruising is actually looking really good. It's just this side that is more bruised. It looks pretty good. Like I'm really not that swollen today. It's mostly just the bruising. Like, I mean, I'm still very swollen. It's better than it was like yesterday. Like I feel like day two and day three were like the worst. I think I was like coming off the anesthesia still, but now I think I'm officially don't have any anesthesia after effects. Like I feel normal. It's just the congestion. I don't really have any pain at all. Not that I did the previous days anyway. I'd still say it's a one because like I know it's there and it's like I can definitely feel where my incisions are but it's not painful. It's more just like you're aware that there's like a scab or something there. Mum has been an absolute angel. She's over here. <laughs> she doesn't like being filmed. She's doing some painting at the moment, but she has been the best. She's made me mashed potatoes and veggies. Just being able to get some like proper food in has been really good. And yeah, she's been a bit better than Hamish was, even though he's like a doctor, like a full on trained doctor. His bedside manner is leaves something to be desired. Mum should be a nurse. She's fabulous. She's been here looking after me. We've been snuggling in bed and. <laughs> Um, just having girl time. Just me, mom, and Winnie. She's just sitting on the chair behind you. <laughs> oh my god, she looks so special. What are you doing, Winnie? You're just the most perfect girl. It's been really nice having Winnie home to snuggle. She's been really good. She's only hit my nose once and it didn't hurt. Um, whereas if Watson was here, he would like smack the crap out of my nose. I'm just having my zinc drink at the moment that I have to drink. Mm. I don't know. Oh my god, that was my belly. Please excuse that. There's just a lot going on. I'm constipated. I have diarrhea. It's a whole. It's <laughs> just a lot going on. I want a lot of medication. I don't know if I mentioned on here. I mentioned on Instagram that I um, drank this too fast the other day. You can't have this on an empty stomach. And I, I thought I had enough food in my belly. I obviously didn't. And I drank it really quickly. And then um, I felt really sick within a matter of minutes. And then I quickly started eating some soup to try and like get something in my stomach so I wouldn't vomit. And I just vomited it all up. And then I felt so much better straight after and I just finished eating my soup. So that was fine. Vomiting wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. But now I've learned my lesson and I'm trying to drink it a lot slower. But yeah, that's pretty much all that's happening today. I've just been editing some um, reels and stuff like that. Just because I kind of realized I have to post like all my pre-nose job content before my nose job's done. Before I start filming new content. Because otherwise it'll just be weird changing back and forth between 
new nose and old nose. That is day four update. Not too much is changing really, um, but I'll keep you guys posted for tomorrow, for the next day, the day after that. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much, sweet girl. It is day six now. I didn't vlog yesterday. I just didn't feel like picking up the camera and it was my last day with mum looking after me. So I just kind of hung out with mum. We watched movies and stuff and she went home last night and today I'm on my own for the first time. I actually had a really good night's sleep. Not good, but like better than I have had previously. I think just because I was sleeping by myself, I just kind of like slept. I didn't sleep through the night, but I didn't wake up as often um, before. Like the first couple days, I was waking up like every hour or so. Why am I out of breath right now? Oh my god. But last night, I probably woke up like three or four times. Um, so I got like good chunks of sleep. I'm feeling pretty good today. Uh, my skin's all oily because I just like did some skincare and stuff today. I haven't really been able to do my skincare properly until like the last couple days so it's like really acting up and not happy with me but today I was able to wash my hair and have like a longer shower and it just feels so good to have clean hair and to like take that time to like look after myself and like pamper myself a little bit more just because I've been having like really fast showers I've showered the whole time that this has happened like my through my recovery but they've just been like really quick like wash the necessary areas kind of showers so it was nice to like take my time I'm still like struggling with talking my top lip has no movement it's really bugging me um, and i keep getting really congested to the point where i can't like talk because i'll feel like a snot mucus bubble like a plug in the back of like my nasal passage which is really annoying but i figured out how to get rid of them i don't know if i'm supposed to do this but i keep snorting which is so bad i really don't think you're supposed to snort post rhinoplasty i think they tell you like not to sniff and stuff but just the last couple days like i've just been so over it like just wanting to clear my nose out so what i do this is like so disgusting i don't know why i'm giving you a tutorial on this but i just can't find anything anywhere about how people clear the mucus from their nose it just says use fest spray and like that should be fine but like when i was just doing the recommended amount of fessing i was like i am still congested i feel like the fest is just going in there and not coming out and it's just making it more clogged up and worse so what i do is like i'll just fest the shit out of my nose i'll spray it like six times and let it drip and drain down the back and then i'll do the same for the other nostril and then i'll wait like a couple of minutes with my head back and like kind of let it all fall back if nothing happens then then i'll go back in and fest again you can kind of feel with like which one is like like of your nostrils which is more blocked and stuff and you can kind of tell when it happens like you'll know when this happens it's happened to me like three times now it's the most satisfying thing in the world because you just feel so cleared out basically after you repeat that a couple times you will feel the snot plug from the back of your nose start to like drop down into your throat and you can spit it out i just have been searching this trying to find someone else talking about this chunk of snot mucus blood that they get out and no one talks about it it all happened by mistake when i was fessing my nose and a blood clot came out and i was like i didn't know that could happen so my biggest recommendation would be to just spray your nose with fess all day every day i wouldn't say there's like too much i would just keep doing it until you don't feel like you're congested anymore because it's been a massive help for me anyway aside from that disgustingness um i'm just sitting here having my mashed potato and my scrambled eggs. I've got like mashed potato and um, pumpkin. My mum made it for me before she left. I can eat solids now, but I'm still eating like a baby because my top lip just doesn't move properly. Like when I smile, it's like stuck. I look like Donkey from Shrek. I don't know, I top lip used to like show my gums a lot more. I don't know, it's just like, there's not a lot of movement there. My bruising, as you guys can see is like, almost gone that red bruise i didn't vlog yesterday but that started breaking up yesterday and the night before pretty much finished all my medication now as well got to take my last couple of antibiotics today but aside from that that's all finished my steroids are all done i've only got two of my regular painkillers left which i'm going to save for the day when they take my cast off if i need them i'm not sure if i'll take them 
I might take one and see how I go just because I've heard it's a little bit painful and they said to save some for that day but I didn't take any of like my intense painkillers I just never needed them still taking Coloxal because I'm still not super regular it's a, it's a it's a circle you know we go back and forth with this it's like a little teeter-totter sometimes I'm pooping sometimes I'm not it is day eight I'm getting my cast off today with the fam say hello Abby designated hello. drivers. Hello. We just went and um, got some Maccas on the way up. I got a toasty and a coffee. And yeah, we're driving up to Sydney from the gong to get my car stuff this morning. Very, very excited. Very sleepy. Pretty much like all my bruising is gone. Still a little bit. You just press this top button here. Like this. Don't put me I love you. I love you. I think I, I think I've zoomed. It doesn't zoom that far in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, looking very clean. I'm very impressed. I'm gonna clean some before next sitting here. You're on the floor now. She's she's <laughs> on the report already. <laughs> you can wait till she does it. You don't have to okay, now one, two, three. Ooh. You did so well. There's no mucus on your lip. I'm just kidding. Oh, thank God. You okay? Yeah, it's really not that bad. Great. It's just, oh, it's such a relief. You did really well. I'll give you a second. Oh, I'm fine. You're fine? Yeah. You go to the next one now? Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. Wriggle your toes. Take a deep breath. You can breathe through your mouth. Go to one, so that's fine. Ready? One, two, three. There you go. Barely any mucus there. You did really well. Do you want to see them? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah? They're just on your chest oh. here. Oh, thank God, they're big, aren't they? <laughs> is that really how big my nose is inside? No. <laughs> how does no, that... they're the splints. That's how big this one's Yeah, are. how do they fit in there? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that feels so good. How do you feel? Oh, amazing. All right, guys. As you can see, I still have my cast on. Um, I got my days mixed up. So disappointing. But I'm getting the cast off tomorrow. So... What we did today was we took my splints out of my nose and like for that alone, it was so worth the trip. So they were gonna make, make me wait until Monday. Technically, I'm not supposed to get the cast off until day 10. Tomorrow is day nine. So I would have been getting it off Saturday, but because <coughs> Watson is hungry. Can you just wait? I'm not having anything extra. You don't just flip your bowl because you want food. You've got kibble there and you've got water. Not getting a gourmet meal. So because Saturday, day 10, it was going to be the weekend, but they obviously don't work that day. So they were going to, um, sorry, I'm a bit frazzled because I literally just got home. So they were going to make me wait until Monday. <laughs> Oh my god, it would have been so long. But apparently they only just recently changed their um, surgery like guidelines or whatever from taking the cast off on day 9 to day 10. And it was just because of like swelling and things. So um, the nurse that took my splints out, she said that it would be totally fine for us to do it tomorrow. And I don't have to go up to Sydney. They're going to show me how to do it over FaceTime. Um, so I'll definitely vlog that for you guys and I'll be able to just take it off in the comfort of my home. But yes, you guys would have seen <laughs> getting the splints out and that was the best part i thought it was going to hurt literally zero pain like absolutely nothing at all it literally just felt like someone was pulling a big fat splint out of your nose like it feels like it sounds honestly the covid test is worse than that the worst part of it was having the numbing stuff sprayed in my nose and then having my throat numb that was so oh my god and it just tasted like some kind of carpet cleaning refresher or something it was like not the vibe i've only like just started getting that smell and taste out of my mouth obviously it depends on like what surgeon you see and what their policies and practices are with dr zachariah splints 
come out before the cast comes off with other surgeons. Sometimes they do it on the same day and I just assumed because I'd watched heaps of other vlogs that it was always day seven and because today I was going up for my splints I just thought everything was all in one go. But silly me, I got confused so I wanted to share this just so you guys know. I know it's very anticlimactic because I was sharing at the start of today that it was the big day of getting my cast off. It's happening 1.15 tomorrow. We're gonna FaceTime and do it. And I actually have to keep my cast anyway um, and wear it at night to bed for six weeks. And the reason that the nurse didn't mind me having it off tomorrow, which is only a day early, is because I didn't have any septum work done. I didn't have a deviated septum. I had no breathing difficulties. My surgery, surgery was like purely cosmetic. So she said like, there shouldn't really be any issues with me having it off a little bit early. It's probably just going to be a little bit swollen. And realistically, it's one day. That's kind of the lowdown. I'm gonna go and just give the house a quick little tidy up and I will catch back up with you guys when I do my nasal rinse because I get to actually wash my nose out and I'm gonna show it because I feel like no one ever shows that in vlogs um, and that's always what I wanna see. The moment I bet you've all been waiting for, but you can't wait for this. This is the stuff I have to use. It's a sinus rinse. Mm, a little bit warm. I think it should be okay. Basically you have to boil water and you pour like a little flow sachet in and then you up your nose slowly and cleans it out. This is the first time I've been able to do this before I've just been using like the fest spray because that's all I can use but now that my splits are out I can finally do it so I'm gonna pop it in and um you guys are gonna see how gross it is because this is the kind of stuff that I like to see when I watch a nose drop vlog. This is what you have to look forward to. Feels good. I'm actually surprised there's like nothing really coming out. I'm actually so disappointed there's nothing coming out of my nose. One of my friends messaged me, her friend got like a nose job recently and she told me to plug the sink when I do the nasal rinse. So it's so disappointing, it's just clear water. I must have a really clean nose. Oh my god, alright well film that for no reason. That was literally the most anticlimactic thing in the world. Show you guys up my nose. You can kind of see my see how sore it is. Um, and my stitches are still in. But yeah, damn, I was hoping heaps of mucus and stuff would come out. <laughs> Turns out it's really clean. Day nine today is finally the day that I get my cast off. I'm so excited. It's 12 p.m. at the moment, so in about an hour's time, I'll be having my FaceTime call. Can't even. Oh, I can't function right now. This morning, I haven't really been doing much. I cleaned my nose out again with the nasal sinus wash. Nothing. Nothing came out. There's nothing in there. Literally no mucus, no blood, no nothing. My nose was perfectly clean. Even when she took the splints out yesterday, she said, like, my nose was really, really clean and there was, like, hardly any mucus. So, mucus is a disgusting word. I'm sorry. Maybe I just have a really clean nose. I've been really lucky with this recovery. I thought I was going to be the type of person who looks like I've been run over by a truck. Like, you see people that get rhinos and, like, their eyes are swollen shut and their whole face is, like, swollen and bruised. They get, like, two black eyes. Like, I didn't even really get a black eye. This has been literally the easiest recovery ever. <laughs> Nose jobs are so easy, oh my god. Like, I don't know if it's because I had a closed surgery or like because like I didn't need too much done. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna stop bragging about how lucky I am. I'm just like, Thank you, Jesus. I do want you guys to go and look up some other nose job vlogs though, because I feel like I'm the minority. I feel like most people get so much bruising. We'll see once my cast comes off today. I am a little bit worried that there's gonna be some bruising on my nose. Um, I am anticipating that it's going to be really swollen. I'm going to be going through that weird avatar Miss Piggy kind of phase where it's like really thick here and like that swollen, you know what I mean? I'm trying to keep in mind that my nose is probably going to look bigger than it was before in terms of like the swelling and like the thickness and the fatness because I did have quite a skinny nose before. Yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, brace myself that it might look just as big if not bigger. I think if it's like someone else is taking it off for me, it would be different, but I don't know because I'm doing it myself at home. It's going to be so weird. I just don't even really know what to think about it. I'm kind of overwhelmed. Anyway, my bruising is looking really good today. I did a fake tan last night in preparation. I haven't put fake tan on in like 
oh my god like a month like leading up to having surgery it's probably been like a month total because i just you know wanted to let my skin breathe for a little bit and not have to worry about it but last night i just really felt like i wanted to do it so i'm probably gonna do my nails and stuff today at some stage and just like glam myself up a little bit the other thing i wanted to update you guys on is that my smile is starting to come back if you guys can see my top lip is still a little bit stiff especially under this nostril the sutures are kind of like i feel like they're almost pulling my nostril in and i do have like a bit of unevenness you guys can definitely see that my nostrils look really uneven and like this in here is pulling in i don't know if it was like that when i first had the surgery or if it's just started doing that the last few days i asked the nurse yesterday though and she said that it's just um due to inflammation so we'll see what happens when i follow up with dr zach in like four weeks time i'm just gonna try and not stress over this stuff like at the end of the day these things happen it's probably swelling if it's not i can you know deal with the issue when the time comes once all the swelling has gone down i just really want to let it settle as much as i can before like i start freaking out or anything so my nose is still really stiff just like where the sutures are because my stitches are still in there i'm thinking that i'm probably going to get them off like taken out next week i'm gonna ask them today when i talk to them um and take the cast off over facetime hi katie Sasha, how are you good how are you yeah good thank you it's a good time to chat yeah yeah definitely i'll just pop you on facetime lovely just yeah. give me a second no worries okay so put the q-tip in the vaseline yeah get a good amount and then kind of like lever the like put it stick it under the cast and and push kind of that vaseline up under the cast yeah Wow! So, oh, my, great. oh my god, it's so little. That is so weird. That's like so much less swollen than I thought it was going to be. Wow, I'm so happy with that. I was prepared for it to be like huge. Nostril, show me your nostrils. Beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so cute. This is so weird. Yeah. <laughs> So oh my good. gosh. I'm so happy for you. It looks Thank really you. So now just go and cleanse your face like normal. Do yep. all your beauty products like normal. Um, put makeup on normal. Just no sunglasses for six weeks. Yeah. And no, um, you've just got to sneeze. Be gentle with the internal stitches. So just sneezing still with your mouth open. Yeah. Okay, oh, perfect. Really good. Awesome. Well, thank okay. you so much for today. Okay, Casey, no worries. Take care. I'll right. see you soon. You too. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. This is not my nose. This looks wrong. I'm having like an identity crisis. I need to go and wash my nose because there's still lots of tape on there. <laughs> oh what the fuck? Okay, so this is it from the front and then the sides. What the hell? And this is still really swollen. My nose is going to be tiny and snatched. Get the fuck out. Oh my god. Oh my god. I never have to cover my nose. I always do this when I laugh because I feel like I like get a big nose. Now I don't have to. It's so little. And this is like really swollen still. Like it takes up to a year for like all the swelling to go down. Um, and I can still feel that it's really swollen. Like, it's still, like, really tender to touch. All right, I'm going to clean it up, and I'll be back. Oh, my fucking God. I feel like I just, like, went on, like, Photoshop and put a different nose on my face. I just washed my face. I just put on some of my bruise cream. Um, and I'm going to ice my nose now. I, I guess that's it for this vlog. Oh, my God. I don't really think that I need to, like, update you guys anymore because I thought that my um, sutures needed to be taken out but they're actually dissolvable so they're just going to fall out on their own so if you guys want any more updates make sure you head over to my Instagram and that's where I'll be updating you guys the most sorry my camera's shaking because I'm so I can't stop looking at it oh my god <laughs> I need to like set it down somewhere my camera's like literally gonna die it's lasted all week without charge and now it's going to pass out I don't I need like time to process this is like the biggest thing I've ever done and I'm so happy I like don't know who I'm looking at right now but in the best possible way yeah I don't know I have no regrets right now I feel so happy like it's so swollen 
um, but I expected it to be so much bigger than this. So I'm like, I don't know, I feel like I had the worst expectations with recovery and what my nose was going to look like. And now that it's here, I just feel like I set the bar so low that I could only, it could only go up. I'm so happy, you guys. Oh my God. I can't believe this is my face. Hamish is gonna be home tonight, so he'll be able to see it. But wow. So today is the 29th of June. It is officially six weeks post-op tomorrow, which is insane. I wanted to add this part to the vlog because I just wanted to show you guys how my nose is looking now. I'm not sure if a lot of you will be able to tell. I can definitely tell that there is a big difference between the swelling when I finished my vlog and like how my nose is now. So a little bit of an update. Um, excuse all my acne. I've just been breaking out like so much. It's like so annoying. So I've got a lot less swelling in here and just like the overall like thickness of my nose. Um, my tip has gone down a lot. I'll show you guys like the side. So. This is like from the left side, and then this is from the right side. I haven't had any issues with it at all. Um, I still have a little suture in there, and then if you guys can see, there's like another one. And then up this nostril, I kind of have like a little bit of lumpy kind of scarring. Not like keloids, but kind of. So I think that will go down over time. I think it's just still a little bit inflamed. So much of the swelling has gone down. Um, I can kind of feel the bone a little bit more here still a lot of swelling um that it's actually insane that there's like still so much swelling to go down like it's up to a year that the majority of your swelling can take to go um, and you can see your final nose and i think like three months is like a goodish indication of like the majority of the swelling being gone but like a year is like final refinement of everything so i'm sure my tip will be a lot more refined then um it still is quite like round which i don't feel like it's round but I guess in the scheme of things, it is still quite round. Compared to when I got my cast off, which is the last of you guys seeing of me, I feel like there's already a massive difference. The tip still feels very swollen. It feels very stiff. I got Hamish to touch it yesterday and he's like, whoa, why is it so stiff? And I have noticed when it's really cold, like when I take my dogs to the dog park and it's sort of like a cold day, my nose will feel like numb. And I'm like, oh, I need to get inside. I've been taping my nose for the past six weeks. You just do one, two, three pieces of tape and then you do a U and tape it up and it kind of pulls the tip up. I'm going to include a video down below, just like the link to Dr. Zachariah's Instagram page where he has a video all about how to tape your nose. Yeah, if you guys are interested in just seeing like what he recommends, I've been doing that. And I also have to wear my cast over top as well. So yeah, tomorrow is officially six weeks post-op. So I need to call the office and um, double check if I need to keep taping or anything and just um, see how everything's going. Cause I can't actually go in there at the moment because we have just gone back into lockdown because of COVID. So <laughs> It's kind of like the worst timing. Overall, really, really happy with my results. Um, I, I just feel like it settled so much into my face. Like those first couple of days having the cast off, my nose felt very, very, very swollen. And I was still so, so happy with it. There hasn't been a moment of this whole journey that I haven't liked how my nose has looked post-op. It just feels like my nose now. It feels like I haven't even had anything done. The only thing I can say is I haven't picked my nose in so long and I miss doing that so much. But I can't actually get my fingers up there. Like I don't want to try because it's still a little bit like tender inside. Oh, that's the thing as well. So I showed you guys what my nostril was looking like. It was a little bit inflamed when I first got my cast off. So this is what it looks like now. This is the one that was kind of pulled in, which you guys can see is still the tiniest bit pulled in but nothing like what it was basically all that happened was that the suture was a little bit inflamed so i had to get this claw sig cream it's like an ointment for like when you have like pink eye or something like that and yeah one of the nurses told me to grab that because it is like antibacterial or something and that cleared it up pretty much right away so anytime it's feeling a little bit inflamed i just pop a little bit more in there um make sure i'm doing like my saline cleaning i still put vaseline inside my nose every night if i'm not using the claw sig like if i don't feel like i need to use that I haven't really had to do the sinus washes, the sinus flow washes that I showed you earlier in the vlog. Just because there's no congestion, I have had a really easy, breezy, beautiful nose job and recovery. I urge you guys to go watch some other videos because I didn't have any septum work. I didn't have any breathing difficulties and nothing like that. So mine was purely cosmetic. We just took the bump off, 
fixed up the tip a little bit and it was a closed rhinoplasty. So very minimal in terms of like the recovery um, and bruising and all that sort of stuff and swelling. Yeah, I just got really lucky in terms of that. But if you do have to have like septum work or have an open rhinoplasty, um, I think the recovery is a little bit harder generally. Everyone was messaging me just saying like they can't believe how unbruised I am and how good I looked straight away. And I was kind of in disbelief. It doesn't even feel like I had a nose job. Like watching back on all this footage, I remember going through it, but it was so fast and quick. Um, honestly, like no regrets at all. I would 1000% do it all over again. It's just so worth it. I'm so happy with how my nose looks. I think it really fits my face. It looks natural. It looks like this is the nose that I was born with. There are some times where I'll like be laughing or smiling and I do think it looks a little bit like a nose job just because there is still swelling left on my face. Like my smile is completely back. Things still need to settle, like there still is a lot of swelling on my nose and sometimes I do notice that. It's nothing that anyone else would pick up but it's just like I know where my face is swollen and where it wasn't before. So yeah, other than that, it looks really, really natural. It's just that I can tell that things are like a little bit off so I'm just still healing. In terms of pain and everything, like this experience was like pretty much a zero, maybe a one. I'm so glad that I finally did this. I'm glad that I waited to this stage of my life because I feel like I'm finally mature enough to handle the decision. I'm glad I didn't do it when I was like 20. Yeah, I just feel like it was the right time in my life and I'm so glad that I did it. So anyway, if you guys are wanting to get a rhinoplasty, I definitely recommend Dr. Zachariah. He was so amazing through the entire process. I haven't actually seen him since the surgery. I'm due to go back and see him very soon. So I'm sure once lockdown eases up, I'll be able to go in and see him. So I'll probably vlog that and just give you guys an update when that happens. If not, it might just be over FaceTime or something. So we'll just see. So many of you guys have been messaging me on Instagram saying that you're already booked in with him, not because of me, just because you'd already booked in with him um, when I was going in for my surgery. So like that was really just like reassuring to hear so many people were already so interested intrigued by him um, and had already booked surgeries like it just made me feel so much more secure in going ahead with mine and Dr. Zachariah does offer payment plans as well so if you don't have the money at the moment and it's something that's really important to you and you're wanting to do um, they do offer cosmetic loans as well so can't remember what the company is called but I'll leave it down below it's on his website too because I was considering that for a minute just in case you guys are curious or whatever that is it for this vlog don't really know what else to tell you guys or what to update you on just really wanted to jump on here quickly and just let you know how everything is going um because yeah I just feel like it looks great and I'm so happy with it and then my new nose are out of here peace, peace.